Okay, let's just use this. Oh shit! Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to upgrade our bow to Tier 3, adding 60% more damage to it. So, let's get her done. Uh, uh, so, I've been working on <clears throat> getting my power up, so we got the power maxed out. We got enough mass built up. I made six ingots, nine ropes. Oh, my goodness, that was expensive. And so, let's... Uh, Let's see what all we need to do here. So we're going to put the bow in here. And we're going to need 10 weapons parts and 20 crystals. Uh, so let's grab our crystals. Let's grab our weapons parts. And let's upgrade our bow to tier 3. Nice. Now we won't be able to take it to tier 4 until we blow Charlie's base to kingdom come and get the, the advanced weapon parts from the crate at the end. Uh, but that's not going to happen for a while yet. It is going to happen, just not for a while yet. Uh, but I wanted to get the bow done first because I use it the most for hunting in particular. And uh, it is now also going to be a capable hunter killer too with the premium arrows. Uh, I would have made more premium arrows too, except for that I'm really, really low on iron right now. So <clears throat> we're going to have to go out and uh, get some more iron. Okay, so uh, let's see. A couple things that I did on the base after I left you guys in the last episode. Just some, some minor things. Uh, I moved the door over here. And the window that was uh, behind the wall, i uh, moved that over too. So everything is nice and centered. So if we go out and look at the base from out here, we can see that it's nice and centered. So, yeah, looking pretty good. Uh, let's see. What else did we do? Ooh, look at that. We got ourselves a building crate right on our doorstep. Uh, let's see. I still haven't moved the crop plots over. I was going to do that. Um, in fact, let's just do that now. I, I just forgot to do it. That's all there is to it. Forgot to do it. That's all there is to it. Okay, so if I turn this this way. Uh, right, okay. So, so I want to flip it this way. To the left and that should put the thing in the back right yeah okay so flip it to the left okay so flip it to the left and then we want to back it up oh you know what though we can't oh crap we're gonna have to we have to re, uh, move those walls a little bit first Okay, uh, we can do that. Oh, um, the other thing that I did is I built this little walkway all around the top <clears throat> with our remaining resources. And uh, yeah, so, and I explained in the last episode why I wanted to do this. Uh, basically, it, it lets us get up high to see better, and it provides a little lip that will hopefully catch any grenades that they try and lob over the wall. Um, so, yeah, that's the deal there. I am still planning on also connecting, um, you know, this down here with up here too, uh, but I just haven't uh, gotten that far, so we connected it here. Okay, so, yeah, let's go take care of this first, um, just to get it done, and then um, I haven't been attacked yet. I'm expecting an attack at any point in time. So, um, but we need to go out and loot too. So I'm trying to decide what to do about that. I, I just know that as soon as we go out and loot, we're going to get an attack. In fact, <laughs> I keep running over there right now because I expect it to happen any time. And, you know, if I can catch them in the act, it just means way less base damage to have to fix. Uh, and I did also break my rule and used a few more of my nails to finish that too. So I'm like really, really low on nails. I mean like really low. Okay, so how low am I? Really low. So yeah, that's a thing. All right, let's flip this over. Um, here, let's just put it right there. Pick it back up with end, not delete. And flip it to the left. Okay, so I want this to be 
doesn't have to be all the way butted up against the back wall, but I just want it to, um, actually, you know what? Yeah, no, hold on. Okay. The back wall is going to be right about there, but we need to make a little bit of room for the light too. We don't need to, but I want to. And let's make sure it's also lined up, <clears throat> excuse me, properly with that, which looks like it is. So let's put that right there. And we still can't walk through it, but that's okay. I just didn't want them smashed together because it didn't look good. All right, now we're going to do the same thing on this side, except for we're going to flip this one to the right instead of the left. All right, so put that over there, get it out of the way. Now this time we flip it to the right. And again, we want it to be lined up about here. That's pretty lined up with the front crate. Oh, that <clears throat> the crate itself is actually in the way. Ah, uh, okay. How about right there? That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Okay, before we put those walls back, let's run back over and see if they're coming. Got to catch them in the act. Nobody's coming yet. I mean, it's it's like been, I think, three days since I've had an attack. So I'm just, I'm like, what the heck's going on, man? I wonder if, oh, you know what? I bet it might be now that I think about it. When we met, when we moved our BCU, we got that message, <clears throat> excuse me, that said the hunters would move into the world within two days. Um, I wonder if that reset their attack schedule and that's why it's taking them so long to attack i'll bet you that's what's going on because i mean they would have they would have hit me by now i bet you that's what's going on okay it's the only thing that makes sense at this point put you back there all right nifty um, how are you guys doing, by the way? Uh, you're going to need some water, so let's water up the crops, uh, or the plots here. Uh, again, I'm not harvesting the tomatoes right now because I have plenty of them. We will eventually uh, get back to doing that when the time comes, but uh, let's just top you all the way off since it's so easy to get to the water right here. Okay, and top you all the way off and top you all the way off. Also, see we have 100% light in all of these, so the greenhouse is working just nicely. Very nicely. Okay, we'll put all you back in here. When I set up a greenhouse in Season 1, I, I kind of had it out on a balcony over the side of a cliff, and I was just getting some really weird light readings, Um, you know, with that, but... A, uh, this is fortunately working fine, so it is good. It is very, very good. Let's go out here and grab the iron out of this. I'm liking the way the base is coming together. So I might eventually, I haven't decided this for sure yet, but I might eventually put decking over pretty much the whole area, except for maybe just right in here. This could be like the, the green the green area um i don't know i haven't decided yet if i want to do that we'll have to see the thing that i don't like about the way this and many other games work is that you can't remove the foliage um you know when you put stuff down i think uh valheim and icarus are the only two games that i know of that removes the foliage when you put st stuff down and i <clears throat> would like to see that become a normal thing in these games uh, but it doesn't work that way in subsistence. Maybe it never will. I don't know. But it certainly doesn't work that way now. So the thing that I wouldn't like about putting decking down all over out here is if we had a whole bunch of vegetation sticking through it, it's just going to look a little jank, I think. You know, like those bushes there, uh, these bushes down here. You know, we just couldn't, we can't really do anything about that. So I don't know. We'll have to see. I, I'm not, you know, not saying I will, not saying I won't. We'll just have to kind of see how, how things come together. Okay, let's get that going. Um, yeah, we are really, we only have 56 nails in total, which is another reason why I really want to catch them in the act of attacking us. 
because if we're out and about and we get a hit by even two of them, let alone three, uh, that's going to, we're not going to have enough nails to repair everything. But again, I'm thinking it must have had something to do with us resetting the BCU, um, you know, that's keeping them from attacking us up to this point. Okay. Well, anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to grab these 10 iron fragments and let's see, we're going to grab some premium feathers, we're going to grab some crystal and some scrap, and we're going to make ourselves some more premium arrows. And then we'll have a nice big bunch of those, and then we're going to go out and do stuff. And if we get attacked while roundabout, we get attacked while roundabout. I can't stay here all freaking day. I mean, I don't mind staying here when I got stuff to do, but we are pretty much got all of our chores down and we're ready to roll. So, yeah, we're just going to have to hope that we can get out, get some looting done, <clears throat> and not get hit by any of them, or at least not by all of them. Okay, so food-wise, I am one point away, you guys. One point away from max level. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to make this last roast um, to celebrate getting the max level. And then after this... I'm going to start making more tomato soup. I'm going to make, uh, I got a whole mess of eggs, so we'll start making steak and eggs. I, and some of the, you know, more mid-grade foods. I'm not going to bother with those two things. Uh, we could start converting some of our veggies into chutney and, you know, make some more jam. Uh, maybe chicken stew. I don't know about that. Um, but, yeah, mostly steak and eggs. Liver and onions isn't too bad. You know, some of this, this mid-grade, like I said, food, and that'll kind of just be our normal food that we'll eat. And we won't eat, like, these big Mondo dishes until we die and then have to recover, you know, the health cap stuff that we'll lose. But fortunately, we'll be able to recover it very quickly. See, that hunter's coming down to fish. It's like they're not even interested in coming after me right now. Okay, well, yeah, we're going to just take a chance and go out, and hopefully they don't, uh, they don't attack us. Uh, all right, so how long are you going to take? You're about 41% done. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go uh, cut the trees on the island, and then uh, when this is done and that's done, I'll bring you guys back, and we'll go out and do some looting, or unless we get attacked before then. So I'll see you guys in just a few minutes. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I've decided that I'm going to wait till morning uh, before we go out because it's getting uh, pretty on uh, long in the day. Uh, so I'm just going to keep watch overnight, and if they come, I'll roll the camera at that point. If they don't, then I won't. Uh, but before uh, we do that, let's go ahead and have our final roast rib. Well, not our final, but our final meal to get us to max health cap. You ready for this? Here we go. Oh, baby, that was good. Look at this. Max health cap, 125. Now we still got some more to go on the stamina, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, we are now at max health cap. We still have plenty of whole chickens and, you know, we'll, we'll kill more moose as time goes on. But now moving forward, we're going to be doing tomato soups. We're going to be steak and doing steak and eggs. In fact, let's go ahead and get some steak and eggs going right now. Uh, liver and onions and, um, we'll probably make some chutneys too. We might as well. Uh, and some jams. Uh, but I need to make, I mean, blip, talk. I need to make jars uh, for that stuff. So we'll be working on jars too. Uh, all right, very cool. So, yeah, that's a big milestone in the game. We hit uh, max uh, health cap, so that is just beautiful. All right, well, I'm going to probably just do some cooking overnight. Uh, well, am I? Oh, we don't. <laughs> maybe. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of power at the moment. Uh, but I'll wait uh, till morning, and then when the morning comes, we will set out bright and early and go do some looting. So I'll see you guys then. All right, guys, we are back. It is morning, and... Still no attacks. So let's hope this trend continues for at least today while we go out and about and uh, do some looting. Um, I'm, uh, it, I hope it doesn't happen today, but I hope it kind of happens tomorrow because if, I'm going to start getting a little bit worried that something's not working right otherwise. But, I mean, I've moved my BCU before, and it just... Oh, no, never mind. Here they come. Here they come. Okay. Here they come. Um, actually, here. Let's try and fight them from up here. I just saw them. Okay, so we've got 
three swimming across that way. That's probably Charlie. Um, and let's make sure. Yeah, we got our our premium arrows loaded. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can take this guy first. Nice. He didn't have a helmet on. And in fact, none of these guys have a helmet on. Okay. Let's try... Here, hold, hold still. Hold still. I need him to hold still because I can't hit anything that moves in this game. Oh, look at that arrow. <laughs> Level 3 recurve, you guys. One shot at that hunter. Of course, he wasn't armored, but, you know, still. Nifty. I don't think they hit the base once. They hit me once. Um, Got a little damage on me, but I don't think they hit the base once. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, let's get the loot geese. Okay, we got a little kelp, some 9 mils, some weapon parts. Oh, that was nice. Rifle rounds. More weapons, parts, and casings. Okay, cool. Oh, that arrow just wrecked him. I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay. So that was the first group. And I'm I want to say that was probably Charlie, just because, you know, they were they were kind of moving across this way, whereas Alpha would have probably come more straight this way. Maybe, I don't know. Hard to say for sure. Definitely wasn't Bravo. So it was either Charlie or Alpha. It's funny, too, that they sent all those guys after us with no armor on. Um, that's fine by me, man. Fine by me. Okay, cool. Um, so we got 17 uh, bullet casings out of that deal. That is not bad at all. I guess we'll just put that in there for now until we get some more chickens to feed because my pin is actually fully, uh, fully fed. All right, so... Um, Usually what I think has been happening is Charlie attacks us first and then a half a day to a day or so later then Alpha and Bravo come after us at the same time. So we're going to go ahead and gamble that that's probably what's going to happen again. And let's let's just go out looting. Oh crap, I didn't mean to do that. I'm just trying to jump on the top of the wall there. Uh, let's go out looting, but see if we can, you know, make sure we're back here by nightfall. Or maybe even just a little bit before. Um, so that we can, you know, be here for if if they come here in about a half a day. Okay, so let's go ahead and come up here. We should be ready to go. Uh, I got five tomato soups and five of these, so let's eat. A steak and eggs and a tomato soup and that gets us all the way up to there and yeah we're good okay we got water uh, these can go in here uh, we got a pretty good supply of ammo let's just look one last time to see just to make sure nobody else is coming okay let's do this um, I don't have enough iron quite enough iron to make a lockpick. So this is going to be a non-lockpick loot run. But we're going to just focus on nails. And, uh, yeah, mostly nails. That's what we really need. Okay, so you guys are stoked pretty good. You should be fine. Uh, I don't have any of the crop lights on. I'm just, you know, I'm probably not going to turn them on all summer. Um, we'll just let the greenhouse do its thing, and oh, there's a, an ore. Since we have, I don't, I don't want to say I have an abundance of vegetables. We we have a nice supply of vegetables, so until I can get them all cooked up into chutneys and other things, uh, we're just gonna keep those lights off for the sake of you know more power efficiency in the base. Okay, let's go. Let's vamanos. Yeah, that, <clears throat> that arrow just wrecked that hunter. That was awesome. 
I I don't know if I can one shot an armored hunter with those arrows. I might if I get a really good shot right in the noggin, but it's nice to know we can one shot unarmored hunters with it. Very cool. Okay, let's go look for some crates. And you know, we need to kill animals too because we need to replenish hide, we need to replenish biofuel, we need to replenish meat, I mean fat, we need the whole the whole kit and caboodle. What kind of bear is this? It's a level two bear. So we could probably do this and Okay, so we can two shot a level two bear with these arrows and this boat um, quite easily. Not sure if we can two shot a level three bear. Okay, that's a nice little supply of stuff. That made it worth it. You never know about these Dargon bears, man. Sometimes they don't hardly drop anything. Okay, let's put our nails down in the corner. I'm going to keep my coat on me until April, and then I'm going to hang up the coat for the rest of the the time but you know it can still get really cold in March and if we were way out in the boonies and stuff we might uh, need that coat so we'll hang it up in April then we should be fine uh, we also need three chickens too so yeah we'll be on the lookout for chickens uh, we'll be shooting those with normal arrows of course and I want to shoot a level one wolf with normal arrows uh, I've got some normal arrows here too just to see if we can one shot a, a level one now oh shit Rogues. Okay, this is going to be fun. Okay, he did. Do 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 do. Where's my rogue friend so I can shoot him? My wife was listening to uh, Simon and Garfunkel the other day playing the Feeling Groovy song. All right, you know what, dude? Well, actually, no, here. Let's just do that. He, uh, I could have killed him with the, the nine, but he, he dodged my shots. and I was going to pop him with one of my arrows, but then I decided, nah, let's not waste an arrow on this dude. I, sh I could have tried to shoot him before I damaged him just to see if we could one-shot him, but I don't know. Things kind of happened quickly, and I just did what I needed to do, you know, to survive. You know how that works in this game sometimes? Okay. So yeah, Rogue Camp. That was only two. They came from up there. There might be a third one. If there's a third one, let's see if we can nail him uh, with our bow. And just see what happens. Oh, well, here's their fire. There's probably at least a third one out fishing or something. I don't, I don't know if I've ever seen a Rogue Camp with only two hunters in it. So let's keep on our guard. How's our armor? Eh, our armor's in pretty good shape. There's a, uh, a a crate right here. Is that guy down on the shore fishing? Ooh, that was a nice crate. Got some bandages, some nails. Where is that guy? Oh, that's the guy we just killed. I'm going, what is that thing down there? It looks like a body. Uh, because it is? <laughs> um, I think I'm going to leave the zinc for now. We really need to focus on iron. All right, well, I don't know where this dude is. Um, maybe you can only have two rogue camps, or maybe a bear got the other one. I don't know. Pretty much every time I run into a road camp, there's at least three, and sometimes there can be as a, up to five. Okay. Let's move on here. Do, 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 do. All right, there's a level one bear. Can we one-shot a level one bear with this arrow? We might be able to if we shoot him in the head. We need a headshot. Okay. Nope, not quite. Alright. Not quite. 
Well, that's good to know. I wonder if we could have two-shotted him with... Oh, nice. Well, we're getting some good loot off these bears. I wonder if we could have two-shotted him with normal arrows. I don't know. Probably not. Bears are pretty... Pretty tough son of a gun, man. There's a building crate. Yeah, we're doing pretty good on nails so far. We're already up to 25. Okay, level one wolf. Okay, let's switch to normal arrows. Can we one-shot a level one wolf? Oh, not quite. Okay. But we can shoot... We can shoot him once with a normal arrow, and then only two pistol shots can finish him off. So that's still relatively economical. More than it was before, right? So that's not too bad. Uh, we were already one-shotting all the way up to level three wolves. Black wolves, not not white ones. With just an, a, a tier two bow. Now we have a tier three, you know, and the premium arrows, of course. So... We can one-shot any wolf now, any black wolf. Okay, let's go move up this direction. This is getting up into lock crate land, but again, I don't have a lock pick, so that's fine. Oh, there's a chicken. Okay, uh, we are using the normal arrows. Okay, let's see if we can get this chicken here. Nope. He did. The way you know if you've got them alive is they'll they'll squawk when you hit them. If they if they're silent. Or make kind of just like that little grunty noise that means you killed him. In case you can't see the the health bar immediately. Whoops. Okay. We got a building crate up here. Thirty nails already. Ooh. Uh, what are you? You're level one. Okay, how many oh yeah, alright. So we're gonna pop you once with that, and then one, two, and you dead. Nice. I love it. I wonder if we could whack a level one with an axe and kill him. Hmm, we might want to try it. We we might try that. <laughs> I don't know, it's probably dangerous. We you know, if he tags us, we run the risk of infection and bleed and all that, but boy, if we could. Hmm. We should try that. Make sure we have full health, and if it doesn't work, we just, you know, pull out the pistol or the shotgun or whatever, but I'd be curious to know if, if that's doable. The axe actually does pretty decent damage. If you hit a if you hit a hunt, an unarmored hunter straight in the head with the axe, it'll kill him. Like one shot. I know because they get caught under my porch, and that's how I take them out. I'm curious to, to see if that would actually work on a level one wolf. Oh, look what we got here. <laughs> Doc got it. We don't have a lockpick. Oh, well, that's fine. It happens. We just didn't quite have enough iron to get one made before we took off today. Okay, let's run through here. Okay, the crates have kind of dried up a little bit. That's normal for this time of day. Let's go down by the pond over here, wash off, and maybe take a quick swim and see if there are any... Oh, there's a chicken. We're almost at the point where we're a little too far away to get a chicken back alive, but let's just try it here. Okay, we killed him because he, he made the little grunt sound, not the squawk sound. Okay, there's another chicken over here. There he is. Oh, wait. No, where is he? I heard him. I don't know where he went. He has evaded us. Okay. Well, let's go down by the pond. Do, 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 do. That's a level three bear. Nah, let's not mess with level three bear. We could kill him, but we don't need to. Of course, with him being that close to the water's edge, that might put a little bit of a damper on our pearl diving plans. 
Where is he at? Okay, he's right over there. Right, let's just at least look on this end. We might as well grab some more kelp. Don't we have some already? Oh, I guess we don't. That's sandstone down there. There's some kelp over that way, but with the bear on that... Oh, crap, there's a bear on this end too. All right, never mind. Forget it. <laughs> We're not messing with it. Get up on the rock. Get up on the rock. There you go. Okay. Let's go past to our old stomping grounds in season one and up on the hill. Oh, look, this is one of the new trees. Oh, these are, these are all new trees. This is new, you guys. I didn't even know that he had added these over here. I thought these were only in the new area. Oh, that is cool. Look at that. Yeah. All right. These are four log trees here. And I believe, well, actually, I don't know what these are. These are probably three logs because they're pretty skinny. I didn't know he had added these trees over here. Yeah, that's a three log. He did say in the patch notes he was going to start working on adding these to the existing map. Uh, maybe, maybe he actually just... Maybe we had like a really small update and he just now did that. I don't know. All I know is I don't remember seeing those trees over there the last time I came through here, but. Okay, we got a level two wolf. Um, here, here's an experiment. Can we also knock out a level two wolf with two pistol shots and a normal arrow with this bow? One, two. Yeah, we can. Look at that. Of course, we did nail him right in the noggin. But, okay. That's good to know. So, you know, before it was one arrow and three pistol shots for a level one and a level two. Now it's only two. And I still want to try my little experiment with the axe on a level one. If it works on a level one, then maybe we'll try it on a level two as well. Oh, where's that? I don't know where that is. Oh, it's right there. Level tree bear. Okay, let's just go around this way. A bear and s two bears? A level one, a level three, maybe? I'm not sure what the other thing was, but it had high health numbers, so we don't want to mess with it. You know, we need to start killing some more mountain lions and me mooses, because I'm low on sinew now. I had to make nine ropes to make this upgrade on this bow. That is a lot. All right, what level are you, dude? You're a level one. Okay, here we go. We are at full health. Let's see if we can shoot him with the arrow and then kill him with this. That's not working so well. Okay. <laughs> I didn't feel like I actually got a hit off on him. Like, I couldn't even hit him. Oh, well, that was that was way too risky. We won't be doing that again. At least we tried it, though, right? I don't know. If you guys know a good trick for killing a wolf with an axe, let me know. But that didn't seem to work so well. Oh, All right, let's butcher you guys. And... That'll free us up a slot. Uh, okay. Moving right along. All right, let's keep looking for loot crates. Yeah, that didn't... <laughs> I couldn't hit the damn thing, man. He was, like, right in front of me, too, but I don't know if it's because he was jumping or what, but it just was not connecting. It was not connecting. What's that? Oh, chicken. Eh, we're too far away from home to get a live chicken back now, so we're just going to let him go. I mean, we could if we nabbed him and then ran straight back home, but I'm not ready to run straight back home yet. We'll replenish our chickens in time. we got so many eggs right now, it's ridiculous. It's a nice problem to have. Should we go after a mountain lion? I'm thinking maybe we should. There's another friggin' lock crate. I th oh, no, wait. That's a building. What? A yeah, that's a building crate. Okay. This is a locked crate spot. You can find them over here, too. I found them over here all the time when I lived up here in Season 1. 
We're up to 36 nails. We only need four more to meet our daily quota. And we're doing good there. Just kind of doing a scan over that way to see if there's anything to see. I don't see anything. Okay. Uh, we're kind of far away from water, so I'm just going to use one of these to wash me hands. To wash me hands! All right, let's go find ourselves a mountain lion. There's one right there. See what level she or he is. Uh, it's a level three. Hmm. Nah. Maybe once we get our shotgun upgraded, we'll take level three on. I'd, I'd, pro I'd, I'd attempt a level two and definitely a level one, but let's not mess with level three right now. Plus, my health isn't all the way back up, and I kind of don't want to take a health pack right now. We could, but... All right, let's just kind of walk up. There's more mountain lions that kind of spawn over this direction. In fact, have I even been up here before? Oh, I have it. Look at that. Okay, we're going to actually uncover some new territory. Here's a carrot. Do, 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 do. You know what? Something sad just occurred to me. It's time to end this episode. Man, we've been having too much fun. Uh, that's a level three wolf. Darn it. Well, let's grab this iron. All right, I'll keep you with me just long enough to kill a mountain lion if if the mount, next mountain lion we come across is not a level three okay fair enough fair enough so there's going to be another one that's going to spawn over this way thought i heard the telltale purring sound It's a bunny. Nope, oh, here's a crate. Oh, for Pete's sake. All right, apple and a protein bar. <sighs> Let's eat this. We'll pick that up and eat it. And we'll pick that up and eat it. It's actually a good thing that that happened because we need room for sinew anyways if we find our mountain lion friend. Okay, this is the spawn area here. In fact, do I see one right up over the ridge there? No, that's a wolf. Some people have called this the mountain lion den even though it's clearly not a den. I wonder if... Oh, there it is. That That's a level one. Okay, we got this. Um, I wonder if that's going to be one of the cave openings. Okay, let's just use this. Oh, shit! Not good! Not good! Not good! Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't load my shotgun! I deserve that. I absolutely deserve that because I didn't load my shotgun. That was just stupid. <laughs> I deserve this. I'm okay with this. I absolutely deserve this. Unbelievable. All right. Uh, <laughs> I didn't load my friggin' shotgun. I deserve it. Okay. Fair enough. All right. You guys don't have to tell me how stupid that was in the comments. I freely admit that that was really stupid and I deserved what I got. Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, lordy. Okay, let's see. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Uh, do I have any shotgun shells? I don't. Uh, Magnum. Okay, we're going to take the Magnum with us. Um, In case it gets, like, cold as hell, we're going to take that with us. Oh, we got this shirt. Okay, let's put that on. Uh, And we got to get back up there and... And get our stuff. Oh, for Pete's sake. Yeah, I deserved it. I I feel like, you know... I feel... Oh, you know what we should do? <laughs> Before we leave. Uh, I feel like 
I've I've done my penance for being so incredibly stupid. Here, let's find another one of those just in case something bad happens. <laughs> um, here, let's also do this and this. Okay. I deserved it. Absolutely deserved that. All right, let's go get our shit. Damn it, Jim. Now a level two. Serves me right. Uh, I need him to move away. Come on, buddy. Get the hell out of here. He charges us. I don't know if I can kill him with the Magnum before he kills us. All right, we didn't get all of it. Um, let's get uh, our shotgun here and get it loaded. Yeah, we should be able to kill him with a double shot. Uh, let's get this on. And we dropped some stuff on the ground, too. Uh, I just don't know what it was. But I'm a little concerned with the Mr. Cougar. All right, let's see. Combat vest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we need the combat vest. Grab that, put it on. Uh, light pants. That we can just do that and then hunter jacket well that's what this is okay same thing all right did we get everything back i think we did okay let's take one of these get our health back and then uh let's see we need to get the bow here that goes in six this goes in four that goes in two uh, yeah, that goes in five, and bandages go there. Whew. Okay. Now, my dude's cold, so we're going to take one of these, because I need to keep my, my combat vest on. And we should be able to, to kill this guy with two direct shotgun blasts. Uh, well, actually, if we can pop them, soften them up a little bit first with this, or we could even use this. Here, let's switch to the good arrows. Can't see them very well. There we go. All right, you're dead, mofo. Whew, all right. What's that? Oh, rotten meat? Nah, don't care. Well, I'd like to say we avenged ourselves, but... <laughs> well, we did, but... Oh, that was just so dumb on my part, you guys. So stupid. 
Um, we lost five of our health caps, so I guess you lose five because we're down to 120. But, you know, we'll get that back again pretty quickly by eating some chicken dinners and stuff like that. Oh, my goodness. I am just... Uh, I'm downright ashamed. Uh, that's all I could say. I'm just ashamed. But, you know, shit happens, right? And we, we need to move on. Okay. Uh, let's eat that so we have room for sinew. We should have room for hide meat and everything else. And then we'll butcher this dude. And... Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay. Oh, what? What is all this? Oh, this is all just rotten meat. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I don't care. If some of the meat's rotting, some of it's rotting. We were out for a while. All right, you guys. I'm going to let you go here. Um, I'm going to... I did pass a lot of crates on the way here, but I didn't want to load up until, you know, we got, uh, got to our stuff. Wow. Crates all over the place. So I'm going to hit as many crates as I can on the way back. Get back to the base, and then, um, as usual, probably take a couple days off, do some more off-camera looting, try to get the resources built back up. And then, uh, not sure exactly what we're going to do next. Uh, we need to start thinking about upgrading our, our next weapon, which will probably be our shotgun. And we need to pay our neighbors a visit. So I'm going to start working towards those two things, and then I'll bring you back. And we'll go have some more fun in this awesome, unforgiving, absolutely brutal, best game ever survival game. Okay. See ya. Bye. <laughs>